Welcome to Eucanic. We're going to take a look at how to diagnose the transmission on a Volkswagen. Now, this in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to use a diagnostic scanner to take a look at the transmission control module, see if there is any codes, look at some live sensor data. Um, now, diagnosing transmission, um, reading codes is only part of it. Then you also need to look at the transmission itself and do some more mechanical checks. Um, uh, the first one that you should always do is check that transmission fluid level. Um, but uh, we already have done that, so now next we're going to um, read those codes. Now here, you're going to use a scanner that um, is able to read uh, Volkswagen transmission codes. Uh, most, you know, those small handheld scanners typically cannot read transmission codes. So in this case, this scanner can, and this is a scanner that can read both codes in all modules, not only the transmission, um, and it also works on all makes and models. So we're going to go to Volkswagen. Press OK. All right, so we're going to go to System Selection, and we're going to go to Transmission Control Module. All right. So if your transmission, if uh, transmission is not shifting gears, it just bangs into gears. It's in especially if it's in limp mode. This is what you want to do. You want to come to the Transmission Control Module, then you want to read DTCs, and that's Diagnostic Trouble Codes. And here we have Transmission Range Sensor. A circuit um, and what's important here is that this code is active all right this is P0709 um, if you have codes that are passive they usually are not the cause or the issue that's present but um, this is a code that's present and we want to fix it so this changes from active it should change to passive code um, depending on the scanner it might say stored um, but it means the same thing so let's take a look at where that uh, range sensor is and um, we'll come back so here are, uh, we are in the engine bay, and we want to look at the transmission. And transmission is all this part right down here. But the rain sensor is uh, mounted right on top of the transmission, and you can see that right there. That's the gear selector rain sensor. And what you want to do is, if that's defective, you're going to have to replace that. Um, in this case, well, we can see that this connector is loose, so we're going to reconnect that. And when you reconnect the sensor, you want to make sure that it's locked. You press it in until it locks in place. And you should hear that click right there. Um, in this case, it's just the connector that's loose, but um, another problem is that the range sensor itself goes bad, um, so you might have to replace it. But once you do that, then you want to reconnect your. So, so we want to come back in here and under the transmission control module. Here, it still shows an active, um, but what you want to do is you want to. Um, either disconnect the scanner and power it back on because the codes that are showing in there they're still the old codes so we want to come back in go to transmission control module So once you do fix the code, make sure you go to read the codes, read the DCs from the transmission control module, uh, make sure they're in passive state or stored, then you come back in here, clear fault codes, and then uh, clear for call memory, press yes. Um, one thing that you can help you in diagnostic, uh, uh, you know, in diagnosing Volkswagen transmission issues is to go to um, live read uh, data stream, or depending on the scanner, it might say live data, but click on here. And you can see all these uh, values. So you can see uh, accelerator pedal. Just keep scrolling down. You can break like switch position. Current gear clutch status. Uh, 
coolant temperature vehicle speed display of gear on an instrument panel so that we can see what gear our selector is in. So we have a number of uh, values that you can uh, you know, display that are uh, coming straight from the TCU. Um, kick down switch, kick down status. Pressure control valve, three, four, five, seven. So you can compare those to each other. Start, stop, position. And that is a range, there's a lot of values that you can look at. So depending on the, on the, the issue, you might, you know, you depend, you'll select what you wanna watch. You can select them all if you want, uh, like, but we selected a few. Um, actual gear shows zero. You can see right here, one natural, reverse, it's right down there, drive, or down at the bottom, so it's gear. So that's, that's it, how to read codes with transmission control module. A lot of times you'll have to research those codes even further, because just the code itself might not be enough to tell you exactly what's wrong, but uh, doing further research or getting an opinion of a, a mechanic could really help as well.